Alright guys, what's going on? I hope you all liked that intro in the last video. If you did, let me know. I can do some more uh, special effects and things like that. We can get, uh, we can get it going with our uh, video editing skills, uh, which is not really much. But anyway, if you guys like that, let me know. We'll, we'll do some more of that. But today, it's episode 16. World Wars era. It's public services. Uh, one of the most important upgrades you get in the World War era. We finally have healthcare from our clinic. We've got another nice church. And we've got the fire station, which I'm going to start with because, because these guys have been putting in work already. They took out the fire in the rum distillery when some, uh, civilian, when some civilian tried to blow that up, apparently. So anyway, fire station. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. I mean, it's pretty pretty simple. We do have some work modes here. Uh, put it out is on the, the base, basic settings. Nothing really changing there. Uh, cat and tree. This is probably one we'll do. Look at all the homes around here. Uh, this increases, well, I should start by saying this increases housing quality uh, by five. And there's, there's going to be a lot of homes around this fire station. So we'll probably set it on that work mode when we get this upgrade uh, available. Uh, building inspections. This one's not bad. Lowers uh, the upkeep. This is probably good for if you have a lot of really expensive buildings around the area, which would probably be later in the modern times. Uh, but once again, you have to unlock the uh, work modes for the fire station to do that. Uh, evacuation drills increases chance of survival, so we could have set it on evacuation drills and maybe no one would have... Did we have any deaths from fire? Is that possible? I don't see any. I don't see any. It's all bad. Just bad health care. I don't know if that's even a thing, but uh, anyway. You know what? We'll go ahead and put it on this because I believe we have to wait until Cold War. I think it's... Yeah, we have to wait until Cold War until we can unlock fire station work mode, so we'll leave it on that. Uh, upgrades, we also have to wait until Cold War. So this is a good one. Uh, the helicopter, we can uh, send a helicopter over here to this island. So if something catches on fire, if our embassy, or if our allies, uh, you know, if something, I don't know, whatever, something might happen. Something might happen over here. It's never safe. Uh, we can send a helicopter over there instead of having to build a second fire station. So we'll wait and see on that. We might build a second, but I don't think it's a necessity at this point. Um, it's just going to create four more jobs that are never going to be utilized. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, let's go to... Actually, you know what? One thing I do want to talk about. I almost forgot. Budgets. I haven't touched on budgets a whole lot because it's really... its I mean, there's no right or wrong answer to budgets. There really isn't. As long as you're not losing money. And if you are, it's probably because you have extreme budgets, either all max or all level one budgets, whatever you want to call this. So... I set this up to four because these guys were fighting the, the fire over there. Efficiency goes up a little bit. But also wage... Uh, and look at the budget. The budget's at $87. We put this all the way down to level one. It goes down $50. I mean, that's pretty significant, but job quality also goes down. I mean, 70 versus 55 default settings. It's on 65, uh, $73 budget. This is one building I will lower the budget on because the firefighters, you, the, the workers here are never needed unless there's a fire. I mean, it's really, that's all you're, that's all you're paying these guys for. So just because they've already done some work for us, I'm going to leave it on two. And you can see job quality, you will have, the job quality will go down uh, if you keep lowering budgets. So that's one thing to pay attention to. 90% uh, efficiency, I mean, again, it's fine. There are no, if, 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 if something catches on fire, we can just boom, go over here, raise, all the, raise the budget all the way up. I'll leave it on two for this one. Uh, I think we'll be fine there. Uh, going right to clinic, I'm going to crank this one up to four uh, because look at service quality. It goes from 60 to 66 on a budget of four and there's actually a way we can do this with an upgrade anesthesiation this is one there's no absolutely no reason to not do this upgrade and for me to say more double negatives um, anyway do that upgrade increases service quality we're now at 76 which is much needed because our health care is horrible still it's just there's nothing people are just it's it's awful it's awful but this will help. Work mode, I'm not going to worry about this because we have enough college-educated workers. And look, at it decreases service quality by 30. I mean, I don't know what that does for you unless you're just trying to run an island on no health care. Let's get a state-approved doctor, please. <laughs> let's, please let's do that. Uh, church, pretty simple. Again, I'm going to leave the budget at normal. Uh, faith happiness, I'm not too concerned about. I think we'll be fine with this. It's a good service quality. Uh, if we bump it up, kind of the same with the the clinic. Service quality is 60 is fine. Uh, it's not very expensive to run. Uh, but we can do this. Pompous Bells <laughs> decreases the visiting time, which means we will have more visitors. Uh, basically like a higher turnover rate of visitors because they won't be staying in there forever. 
Um, so that's a good one to do. Um, there's really no reason not to do that either. So both of those upgrades, and really that's all we have. That is all we have in public services. So we'll kind of just play around for a little bit this episode. Don't make it too long. Uh, and like I said, we've already placed them, and you kind of saw that in the last episode where we just put them around kind of a, central, a centralized town here. So we'll start expanding that pretty soon, and things will kind of blend in a little bit. So anyway, we'll keep this going, though. I'm not going to end the episode right now. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, we are right back in here. So it's a couple things I want to focus on. Um, our raid is almost done. We are almost done with the Stonehenge. We have built the Commando Garrison, so it's time we can actually... We can go on another heist here. I meant to say heist on the Pirate Cove. Or it's technically a raid, heist, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that's almost done. Commando Garrison, we could go ahead and go on another heist here. And we can go ahead and talk about these. We can kind of make this kind of a combined episode here. We got Taj Mahal. Uh, every dead citizen basically gives money and when they die. So you just earn profit from when people die from bad health care, natural cause, or whatever reason. Uh, this one's it's 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 okay. I mean you can get it whatever you I'm not gonna tell you which one which world wonder to grab There's no I think I have made a comment about which ones are I prefer and maybe which ones are duds uh, The castle here. I mean unless you're going for a military themed island. There's really no reason to Take this one honestly in my opinion and like because I mean basically if you read what it says, all buildings receive less damage from enemy attacks. Well, if you if you're good if you're in good standing with relations, you're not going to receive any damage from your buildings, or the people. I mean, you might you might get a rebel attack, so it does help with that as well. But we're not going to worry about it. We're going to be fine. Uh, Eiffel Tower. This one's actually interesting, and I'd like to do this one sometimes uh, because you can really manipulate with uh, media and propaganda because it broadcasts each non-standard radio. And TV program, so not newspapers though, not newspapers. Uh, where where am I going? Where was that? Broadcast. Oh, I can't find it. There it is. Uh, broadcast each non-standard radio and TV program. So we don't have either one of those yet. But basically, if we set the work mode to something that's non-standard, it'll broadcast that all over Tropico, all over Tropico. Not just then you'll see the radio station has a. Uh, kind of a centralized area here like it's a little it's a little bit bigger than the newspaper and The radio station impacts people at work not in the homes So that one's interesting to go for the one I'm gonna go for is I've actually I keep clicking this menu So we'll look here the one I'm gonna go for is actually the Moai heads increases speed of boats freighters and ships and You know this one to me we're gonna go a little heavy on tourism in this island is what my plan is and to do that, I'm also going to focus on trading and making profits from trading. So I want my ships, I want the freighters to travel back and forth quicker. And it's not crazy, but it does the job and it makes a difference in the long run. So we're going to go with that one. I think it looks really well with the Stonehenge too. We're really going for like a stone, a stone theme and we're going to stick with that. So anyway, just want to blend that in all into this episode and we'll probably keep going here for a little bit. This may be a pretty quick episode though, because I really want to focus on some things uh coming up soon so stay tuned all right guys so we just had a freighter come in a couple of things going on we got low rebel threat somehow probably from bad health care that'll come up shortly i'm not worried about it we did get a freighter uh 25 000 coming in and look at this we've done it the rocks rolled off the deck and onto the dock the rocks rolled off the deck and onto the dock cool man so we've got our stonehenge which we will be placing i think in the next episode guys i'm gonna come up with an idea for the next episode I'm just going to let it play for a little bit, see if anything else happens. we got a couple of tasks we'll be completing. Uh, El, President, El Presidente just needs to visit and take his paddle boat over here to the Axis Embassy. Um, so that's an easy one. Uh, what we can do, though, is let's focus on our raids. Now, uh, I did have the budget all the way up to, uh, to maxed out on here, on this pirate cove. Let's, let's drop that down because all we're going to be doing now is treasure hunts which are my favorites um treasure hunt is my favorite one to do i will take the chance on getting ten thousand dollars uh we could also unlock available blueprints which comes in handy especially in modern times uh in the modern era whatever it's called modern times um we could also unlock research or five thousand rain points which is also fine uh so we're, we'll do that one and we'll lower the budget down uh but for the commando garrison let's crank this all the way up i only do this on the heist because it takes so long. Uh, and we're going to go after the Moai heads. And let's do it. And we're almost there. We're actually almost there. So we're very, very close. 
and that'll get going. So anyway, uh, we're going to just run this, I think, to the new year, and we're going to check trade routes because it's really, really important to check trade routes every year. Uh, you gain It's just easy money. It's what we talked about in the last episode with our government buildings, our, foreign, our uh, embassies. We can ask for financial aid every three years as long as we have good standing. So... Uh, let's just let's come over here and see what we're looking at. We can click on the embassies itself so we don't pause the game. We're at 76 here. Look at this. 76 right now. We're at 56 on the axis. So, um, we'll, we'll wait. Oh, we're going down because of that. Uh, I don't think they like... <laughs> we can actually check this real quick. I don't want to make this episode too long. If we go to politics... Or no, foreign relations. Uh, what do they not like? They don't like... Yeah, they don't like that we stole the Stonehenge. They hate that. <laughs> They don't like that. They don't like that at all. Uh, um, Axis don't care. Axis, they don't care that we stole it. So it's kind of interesting just to play around with that. You know, you can, if you see a relation start going down, just look at this and just see what's going on. You can click on, you can look at all the modifiers here. And you can see this minus four. Uh, and they're probably, they're probably going to hate it when we build it. So that's something to keep in mind. I bet that relationship will plummet when we build the Stonehenge. And we'll check on that in the next episode. Um... So right now we need we need some more we're we're gonna get actually we can get plus two standing if we want there but I might just take two thousand dollars it's not a huge difference so yeah pay attention to your trading I mean you don't it's not something you have to it doesn't take that long to do I mean just after the after the new year uh, just check your trade routes you see this exclamation point means means we have available trade routes we have free trade routes to use. Um, so let's do it right now. Let's look. Let's see what we got. So exports. We don't have any rum to export. Imports. Do we have anything? Wow, they hate us. Really nothing here, guys. Nothing. So before we do that, hold on a second. Before we do that, let's... Oh, no, we can't. Oh. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to worry about it. We'll get that up. We'll get the, we're fine on money. We'll get that up. They don't. They hate us for some reason. They're not giving us any imports. This is the only one here, and we'll take it. Uh, we'll, we'll take the lowest volume, 175. Just going to gain some standing. Anyway, guys, I think that'll be the end of this episode. We're, we're very close to getting financial aid. We could just do praise here, uh, use $5,000, and then ask for financial aid. We actually, you know, let's do that. Let's do that. So we, it costs $5,000. It increases relationship by 10. Uh, actually, 12 for whatever. I swear that's, I don't know that math. That doesn't make sense. Uh, let's ask for financial aid. We get 15000 in profit. Boom, just like that. And one thing to do, mark your calendar. I'm not saying you need a pen and paper to write it down, but just look and say, okay, January 1909, three years later, we can check this. And if it's above 71 or above 70, then we're good. Uh, mark your calendar. I mean, it's a free $20,000 every year. So in three years, January 1912. And then if we do it again, three more years, January 1915. It's just an easy way to make money. You don't have to worry about having tons and tons of profit from exports. You can make money just from the allies and access just like that. Uh, but we do have to get the standing up over here on this side in order to do the same. Uh, we could praise. Let's actually do it both. Let's praise. Yeah, let's do both. There you go. So we just made we made thirty thousand dollars just like that. And look at this, we're up to seventy one, just like that. Now the relations aren't good right now, so we're not gonna have good trade routes. But we just keep doing the imports, and hopefully next year we'll get more. We'll do the same thing. And we got you know what we could do. Oh, that's actually if we imported more weapons, we could export. <laughs> we could basically manipulate. Our foreign relations and our foreign powers we could import weapons what we could have done i didn't see this we could have imported like a thousand weapons and exported four thousand of those to the allies and kind of doubling down on our trade routes so that's something to keep in mind too we'll focus on that uh which i'm sure you guys if you if you played it before you know what i'm talking about so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this episode stay tuned i don't know what the next one will be yet but if if, if it's already out you're gonna jump right into it so stay tuned guys peace